I term myself as one of her associates because I partnered with Lizzie way back in 1999 when I was a a young broadcaster, and she approached me, and uh, that time I was uh, managing some of the radio programs, and I partnered with her in promoting her college, and I promoted the college from 1999 all the way to the year 2004. She appeared in my radio program once a week uh, for about four years, and then thereafter she mentored me into business, and I remember uh, having a cup of tea with her in her hotel somewhere in uh, Westlands, um, Lovington, sorry, and um, Kileleshwa. And I told her I'm quitting my job. And uh, I told her what I'm thinking, and she told me, go for it. And I also started a college. And she, I remember her, my first desk that I used to, to start my college, she's the one who bought for me in the, in the crossroad. And she took me to Pangani. We bought some desks for my college together. And she even assisted me to register the college with the Higher Commission of Education. And my college grew from there. And that, that was the beginning of my business life. I am so humbled to have known Lizzie. She kept on telling me, we are women and we can do it. And every time I was down, I remember after 2007 clashes, I completely went down because my college humbled a lot of students who were coming from Rift Valley and the Luonyanza. And after the clashes, the post-election clashes, I lost almost all my, my, my students because, of course, they couldn't come to Nairobi. Uh, I thank God Family Bank is here, but I had a big loan with them then. And they did what they are supposed to do. You know what they are supposed to do, eh? You know what they do, eh? And I thank God for you, Family Bank. Kwa sababu kama hamunge ni chota, singe survive, singe kuwa hapa. So I had a house in Lovington, and that was my security for my loan, which I was not able to pay because of the PEV, because of the post-election clashes. And within one and a half years after the PEV, they came from my house. And I gave them smiling. And I told God, wamechukua hiyo nipatia ingine. Na walichukua, na mungu waka nipatia ingine na nika survive, na niko hapa. Hallelujah. Hata wewe kama umechotua, usijari. You recover. Kama kathoni ya recover, hata wewe utafanya nini? You recover. So I've gone through a journey with uh, Lizzie, even my political life. I remember when I decided I'm going to buy, Lizzie and I sat down somewhere together with my friend Sabina Shege and to kaongea maneno ya women and politics. She told me about her, her late husband and Siasa because she had a stint of it. And she encouraged me and she actually given, gave me money and told me I will support you financially. So I'm not here just as a friend. I'm here as an associate of uh, Lizzie. When we were happy, we started off initiatives together. We started the Kiabu teen pregnancy campaign with Lizzie. She is the founder, which I patronize. And uh, she funded the program by giving us sanitary towels the whole of 27, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021 during COVID. She supplied me with sanitary towels so that I can pro provide girls during COVID. So she's done quite a lot of work. She's an icon that I will never forget in my life. And I thank God for Lizzie. I thank God for the years God has given us together. I thank God for the counsel. I thank God for the financial support and any other support personally I have received from Lizzie. When I was buying in Gidunguri last year, but one, she called me again and told me, what do you want? That time I needed transport buses. And uh, I'm sure maybe some of you are aware that she kept on giving me her own branded buses for campaigns. Alikuwa ananiambia, hang your banner, you hide the name Nibs College so that people don't know that that is a school bus. <laughs> so she, she really believed in me. And I believe what she believed in me will eventually be accomplished. 
I want to thank you family for supporting Lizzie. I know the last few days it was really tough. I want to thank you because um, even when she was very in her lowest, she kept on sending us messages to encourage us. Instead of us encouraging her, she was encouraging us. And I thank God for her. Before I sit down today, I'm not going to speak politics. Nimeokoka sana. Hallelujah. I want to give you a story and ask you, how ready are you? I believe my sister Lizzie had prepared to leave, had prepared to go. She kept on telling me, whatever we do here in earth or on earth will be paid one day in heaven. So I know she believed in heaven. I believe she believed in life after death. And that is why she did what she has done. How prepared are you? How prepared am I? I am a reader and there's a book that I am reading by John Mason. John Mason writes about a story. I don't know whether it is true, but it's a story that I read that I'm going to share with you. That a gentleman who had just retired and gotten her, his um, retirement package wanted to go for holiday. He kept on telling his family, especially his wife, that when I retire, I will take you to the best place you have ever wanted to be in the world. And that was Texas. And so the day came for him to go to Texas with his wife. But they did not find a, a flight for them to go together. So they got a flight for the gentleman to go and then the wife will follow later. So he took the flight and he went to Texas. And he arrived safely in Texas. And he checked into a room that they had booked with the wife together. And so he decided, let me write an email to my wife. That time, I think the story was done. There was no mobile. So he could only do an email. So he said, let me write an email to my wife and tell her that I have arrived. And so he went into his laptop, uh, computer and wrote an email. But the email address that he used, he missed an N in the email address. I'm sure you have ever sent an email and missed one letter. It will definitely go to somebody else or bounce. But the email went to somebody else. The email uh, message was, how are you, my lovely wife? I have finally arrived. And this place is damn hot. I know you are following me. You are coming to where I am. Please prepare because the place is hell hot. It is hell hot. So the email did not go to his wife, unfortunately. The email went to another lady who had just lost her husband and they had buried the husband about three days ago. So she read the email and the email was saying, how are you, my lovely wife? I know you are following me and you are coming here. I arrived safely and the place is hell hot so what do you think the wife did this woman did what do you think she did eh? Eh? oh that is what you will do eh? so this wife got i mean i'm sure she panicked you know oh so i'm also going there where my husband went and so she started uh, announcing, uh, I'm selling my cart, I'm selling my sofa set, I'm selling, she was selling everything so that she can prepare to go to where the husband went. So she sold everything. And then she was still waiting for her to start going. She was not going. She did not go. So let me not continue with the story. If you got such an email, what would you do? And it's an email that this time round is, is, is real. See you ya ku bounce. See you ya kuenda kwa spam. You ya kuenda kwa unwanted emails. What did you do? Mubiri ukikuja hapa utatwambia what you are supposed to do. Rest well, my sister Lizzie. May the Lord God keep you safe and sustain your smile. Amen. Asante misana.